Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Heart of New York show. I have a very special guest on today, and he is an artist that uh, we came across when we were displaying actually my wife's art in Soho, because she's a wonderful artist too. And this gentleman is something, that, let me tell you right now, his name is Riaz Nadi. Okay, he's from Afghanistan. He came here since 1981. And he's prolific New York City artist with excellent creative skills, and he's a master of color and design. He studied art, design, architect at Pratt Institute School of Architecture. And we're going to see some of his work later on in this program, which, let me tell you, he's spectacular. His work is, is the best of the best. I have an array of different way of uh, working with oils and different mediums. And what about the one that's in back of us now? This okay. is a beautiful oil painting of Central Park, of course, the Love Bridge, uh, the Love Bridge and uh, the Dakotas, I call it. It's a beautiful palette and with, with beautiful colors. And I love painting, you know, stuff like this. It's wonderful. I mean, uh, the talent that, we ha that, that we're going to show you soon also, uh, we're going to have a display of his art, and he's going he's to uh, talk about each one that we're going to show up on the screen so you can take a look. But one thing I tell you, all right, you, you, you come from Afghan. Yes. Okay, I mean, just that alone can tell you that... that he, he started from the ground up when he came to New York, probably around 1981. Is that right? 1981, yeah, I think I, I would put that there. So, so but uh, I left Afghanistan in 1979 uh, when the Russians entered Afghanistan. My mom was a nurse. And at the same year, I five different, uh, you know, punches I got, life punches, and my life got shattered. I lost school. Uh, my dad uh, remarried another woman, and uh, we lost the house. Uh, I, I lost Afghanistan, and I escaped actually on Russian military planes. Uh, I, was, I was a kid in the same passport as my mom, and she was a nurse, so she man we managed to pull out. When the Russian plane would come to Kabul, drop military weapons and all that, and go back empty for more, so we escaped on those. Uh, Amazing. Yeah, and then we crossed the Almu River in northern Afghanistan, went to Tashikan. We had no money. We had some jeans and some coins and, you know, maybe probably $100 or something because my brother was here, uh, sort of helped us. Um, and with that kind of uh, life, and this is, this is, I'm in like 11th grade. Uh, this is the time that I have to study and focus for college. All of a sudden, you lose everything. But I, I had a hope because I had my paintings. I just won a competition in Kabul in 1978, 70, 77 or 76, 78. I have a medal. I won an art competition for the be, between 18 uh, Asian countries. I got a bronze medal, and the, the Ministry of Education in Kabul they took a big party for that. And I was on TV actually from that age, and I was on the radio and everything. And all that happened, and I had to leave Afghanistan and made my way as a refugee, you know, with no fake passports from Moscow to, to Frankfurt. This is during Reagan's and a great president, well, one of the presidents that I really like, actually. Now, you're, you're an award-winning artist. Yes, yes. Explain that. Uh, there was a competition in 1978, uh, I think it's 1976. I have the model, it's in my car. and. Uh, uh, it's a, it was in, North, in South Korea, and about 18 Asian countries, children participated in that. Mm -hmm. And from Afghanistan, it was me. And when, after the results, I think a Russian won a gold, and a Korean got a, a, a silver. I got the bronze. You got the bronze. Oh, Congratulations. The bronze, yeah. And I was happy with it because we have a lot of bronze in Afghanistan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was like the good joke of it. <laughs> so it, by what you just said, you ha you've been an artist probably most of your entire life. Yeah, yeah. I've been a straight artist during I, for a period. I used to model for, for the magazines. I was in architecture school at Pratt. 
and I didn't have any money to pay the tuitions, and the financial aid was giving me a hard time because I had language barrier and all that every time I go to, uh -huh. uh, you know, to apply. So I managed to study for two and a half years. And then one day one of my professors said, his name is Wads Wadsworth, he said, Reyes, come here, I want to talk to you. On the way down from the class, he tapped on my shoulder, he said, Reyes, whatever you do, do architecture because you're the greatest. Wow. Yeah, he said that. And from that moment, I never lost touch with architecture. Though I was modeling, I was painting, I was living a right. crazy life in Brooklyn and New York. And, you know, I was showing in the nightclubs of New York, in every single nightclub I've shown in limelights, palladiums, the tunnel. Oh, man, for huge, years, huh? Yeah. Way back at the limelight. Oh, yeah, I've been around. But one thing at the end is hitting me that all years I've been doing art, I've been, you know, I used to hang out with Warhol. Uh, Kittaring was a friend of mine. Uh -huh. uh, they all died, and th all these people became artists in Whitney and museums and galleries, but they never, they, they never came to me. Ah. I, have, I always found that, like, what is it? Is it my name or what? So whatever it is, I'm going to keep that name. Because during I, modeling, I, they shot my name a little bit to Ray. And I have to ask you, because uh, my wife is also a New York City street artist, and uh, she gets inspired by our creator which is God. What inspires you? What, what, what got you started from the beginning to say, you know, I love being an artist? This is a great question. It's a, it's a key, uh, key, key, key question, actually, because that's where you find out why you want to do art. Mm -hmm. I was in love with life. I was, a, from a young age, uh, I probably must have been five year old. Uh, I did a drawing of my grandmother, and she was sitting under a, under a tree, and she was missing a tooth, and I even put that on the drawing. Uh -huh. From that day, I mean, the family, uh, I, I, used to, I used to paint for the, for Kabul, for the, back then, I mean, 76, 75, I used, you know, they'd take me out of classes to do, write about, uh, 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 that continued, you know, and then I won the competition at age 14, I, something like that. And ever since, when I came to New York, I said, I'm just going to do art. I was doing art. Uh, actually, my first art project in New York City was 1981. It's on Fifth Avenue. I did charcoals, and I have a photograph of it in my car. It's on my Instagram, too. And it was in New York Post, actually, in 1982. Street artists from you know Afghanistan, street artists, is blocking Fifth Avenue uh -huh. sidewalks. <laughs> so, that's the only way because I used to, people put, you know, I had buckets, people throw coins, and I go home, take the seven train back to Flushing and, and go with a bucket of change. This is how I started my life. Wow. And then I went to Bayside High School to wow. just get some schoolings and get English, and then I went to Pratt. I found, uh, I took an abandoned building in Brooklyn, opened it, did the plumbing, changed the windows, created a loft space to paint. And then later on, I said, you know what, why not open a gallery? So I opened one of the first art galleries in Williamsburg in 1983. In Williamsburg? In Williamsburg. So I basically injected art in Williamsburg. Now they have all the galleries and artists are moving in there. <laughs> but something. I'm not there. Uh, 738 Broadway, that, that's the address. You know, I want to <laughs> talk to you about one specific uh, picture, and uh, it's Tell us about the Gaza Stir 23, a picture of Jesus in front of the UN building. We found this very interesting because my wife and I, we both believe in Jesus. And when we saw this, it really stood out. But I'd I, I like to know, we're going to show that later, but can you talk about that whole thing from start to finish? Yeah, <clears throat> this whole thing of Gaza and Israel has been of course, a billboard on every single TV uh, monitors throughout the U.S. and the world. Uh, this, is, this is huge. This is very huge. And especially that race is involved, flag is involved, religion is involved, uh, so many things. And this is a serious matter. So we, we need to get connected up there. So I pointed Jesus. You pointed I said, right. And then down here, it's the United Nations. Okay. So Jesus is knocking on United Nations. Hey, what's going on? What's my hometown, my birthplace, where I was born and where, where, where I was crucified? Right. It all turned into rubble. 
Right. Is this what I left behind? I mean, this is a disgrace. So uh, it's basically Jesus is knocking. He's been knocking, and is 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 now UN has responsibility right. to to clear up this mess. They didn't do a good job, probably. They left that wound and and, and got infected, and now into. Uh, this is it that's world. come up right now, the, the picture of Jesus knocking. Yeah, this, this is very strong. This is for the world. Very uh, powerful. But also— and, and did you do that because he's the answer? Yeah. You know, Jesus, this is how it is. We have three major religions that it's right now, I would say, they get along and they don't get along. It's Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Hinduism and Buddhism, those are very—it's been like they've been watching us. What are these three going to do? Are we going to be right? They're waiting for that, mm -hmm. in my opinion. That's why my architectural project has 360 degrees, especially Peace Plaza. That one, when they called Ground Zero 9-11, that when 9-11 happened, they, they, call, they called the site Ground Zero. I said, there is a zero. It's a big cavity there. Just created it. Eventually, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna cover this. Riaz, get on work. So in 2002, I submitted the plan. I curated two projects. Hmm. One is that, and these are all. And in one of them, I have, a, I, have a, I have a church because one of the churches were destroyed. So I created a new way of church. It's a pool in the shape of a cross. So you step in, it's like about two feet water. And the minute you walk in, you get wow. baptized. So wow. that, was, that would have been in ground zero. But then a lot of people said, Reyes, there's Christians, there's Muslims, and all that. So I said, you know what? I kept that personal to myself right. in well, my portfolio. Uh, but, listen, but I agree with you, I, uh, that especially with Jesus by the U.N., because personally, I think he is the answer. He's, he's the he's, answer. He's the only answer. My wife agrees, and I think there's millions others. And on, also, we're very pro-Israel. Okay, uh, we love the Jewish people. Now, I love the Jewish people. Yeah. I love the culture. I love the food. I have, I have my friends. I have probably thousands of Jewish friends. I deal with through architecture with them. They all live in San, Kings Point, Sands Point, uh, Great Neck. I work with like about five different architects and developers. They're all Jewish. That's and wonderful. I love. I, 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 but but what he I, at the same time I love Palestinians. I love uh, Arabs, everybody. We all have beautiful, so we have so much rich culture. We need to focus on peace. That's why I created Peace Plaza, that project. So that's a capsule that the world is missing. I always say that if, if the world, if UN builds one of these in every country and have it work as a web, we would have a better, better world. Today we wouldn't have a Ukraine war, we wouldn't have a Gaza war, we don't have Afghanistan, Iraq, none. You know, so. But they, they never called me. I even I have a pipeline of projects for reconstruction of Afghanistan. They, wouldn't, they didn't have to lose like that. Afghanistan mm -hmm. is the most wealthiest part of the planet. And now in the hands of people that they don't allow girls to educate, and how the hell they gonna they think they're going to run this country? This is, this is not a joke. This it, is, uh, this is no, human civilizations being slapped no on the joke, face. No joke. Another thing I want to bring up, and th to me, this is fascinating. You actually had an encounter with Jesus. I did. Yeah, this was hap this happened uh, when I. Um, this is another another sad thing happened to me in New York. I, I don't like to talk about it, but it happened. I don't know if I should. I but think I'm so. Gonna, I think I should. Yeah, it, it, I, I was modeling. I you know they discovered me on the street, on the subway, in the park. I worked in like about. Uh, my mother agency was in New York, and then I worked in agencies in Milano, in Paris, in London. And this is in my youth. So when, when this took really off, I, I, took, I took a pause from School of Architecture. I said, you know what, I'm going to go do some modeling, make some money, and then come back to the architecture. But when I went in, in the modeling, so I dropped school. That's, that, that was the main reason I dropped, uh, because I didn't have any money. I, I, every day I would go for a penny to, you can't study architecture like that. You're just going to become a bad architect. And I don't believe in putting bad quality in me. So I, I, I love quality. America is the quality of the planet. Let's admit it. I, so we're going through a turbulence right now. But this is the best country in the planet. And then how did you me. encounter Jesus? With Jesus, Jesus is, Jesus is right here. So that's another thing, especially in New York. New York is the doorway of America. And Christ is right here. I, I went to Central Park with a bunch of friends, and uh, uh, there, was a, there was a restaurant in uh, Union Square Cafe. 
it was like a very happening place. Mm -hmm. And I walked there on uh, U Union Square Park West. I was walking north, and my friends waved. Because my agency was there, and my gym was there, I used to go. So Reyes, we're going to Central Park, you want to come? I said, yes. Yeah. So we all took, they had rollerblades. I didn't have, I, I, I had cowboy boots and jeans and a little jacket. I was dressed like f for the winter, but in the middle of summertime. Summer is probably month of June or something. Okay. So we took the subway, we all, when we get to park, all of a sudden, they split. They were in rollerblades. So I, I left alone all by myself. I said, you know what, I'm not going to kill the day, I'm just going to go to Central Park, so to, to the meadow. So I went to the meadow, and right in the center, everybody's playing frisbee and all this, and I'm with a little jacket. I got hot, I took off the jacket, shirt, I lay down, and I opened my eyes, and son, Christ is blessing me. Right there. Right there. Right there. And then I heard my mother's voice, and my language, I heard, she said, that means get up. I got up, and I walked from Central Park on Fifth Avenue, all the way to Canal Street. Took the train, oh, went to my loft. It's five miles. And I was, I was sweating. I was, I, I started losing weight, and uh, for two, three days, I was locked myself. I didn't go, and I experienced. I started doing a lot of drawings, and and the war in Middle East started to happen. I did a lot of drawings regarding that with Saddam and all those chaos over there. Um, that's, I have a lot of drawings on those, which I don't release them, they're too powerful. There are sketches, but, but very powerful. What we're going to do now, uh, Riaz, is we're going to show some of your work, which is, to me, spectacular. And then if you could just explain them when they come up on the screen, we'll of see course. if there's one. And tell us about this one. Oh, this is me on <laughs> a <And I> self-portrait. <laughs> Sometimes I say, you know, uh, if something happens to me, at least they know who, who's the artist. <laughs> 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 so there's a folk, there's a painting. I, I didn't buy, I didn't paint this to, actually in the background of the me, this is a scaffolding. You see a part of John Lennon there. You see the scaffolding. Those are the bars of scaffolding in the background. Okay. The, so this, I created New York City uh, scaffolding arts in the beginning. I saw massive of scaffoldings all over the city, and I Googled, I said, it was 280 miles of scaffoldings in five boroughs. I said, wait a minute, and this is a great fence for the arts. Why not? Because I said, I wanted to make something very green, very sort of a raw, and very sort of a, like Brooklyn, Bronx, sure. Staten Island, New York sort of a project. I said, how about just paint canvases, buy cheap canvases, not expensive ones, and hang it and paint on it and put it up. And I started doing that uh, with actually with Michael Jackson. When How he about the next it. picture? How would that look at that? Yeah, wow. this one is me during one of my shows in Chelsea. Uh, this is a great site. It's uh, 502 West 26th Street, right by next to High Line. So this is a gate that I said, this is great for the art because it's all art galleries are there. As, uh, and I said, let's have a pandemic gallery here. So this is the pandemic gallery. And this is a... <coughs> Next one. There's, there, what's that? Oh, this one is of Manhattan Bridge from Dumbo. Uh, and this is looking towards New York City. This is sold. It's in Italy. It's a beautiful piece. I, I wanted to document major icon architectural projects of New York from the uh, post-war or pre-war and all that. So I said, you know what? Uh, I, I want to paint, paint the bridges first, number one, paint. That's why I went iconic first, because this is a city project uh, with Empire State Building, Statue of Liberty, and all that. But now I'm painting like little alleys and stuff like that. In, Wonderful. Yeah. Next picture. Oh, this one is strong. This is, this is when the Americans were in Afghanistan. This is before Taliban took over Afghanistan. There was explosion all the time. You know, uh, suicide bombers would come and kill, and, and the, the, the eyes of the girl becomes the Humvee, oh. the lights of uh, uh, wow. American cars on the streets of Kabul, and then the, the halo around her face is, is the, the uh, national uh, logo of the uh, flag wow. of Afghanistan, and fire cars are burning, you know. So this is really strong, and the black, red, white, and green is the uh, uh, black, gr uh, red, and green is the uh, incredible before Taliban flag, the national, the actual national flag, which I recognize too. 
uh, the other, these, these new flags are not uh, Afghan made. These are brought from outside, I think, Taliban, I mean. Next picture. Yeah, this one is of uh, the Love Bridge and the Bow Bridge. It's, it's I think, it's one of the oldest bridges uh, in, in, in New York. Uh, I Googled it, and, uh, and I said, it's also, I have, you know, people has great memories there. Uh, a lot of people are getting married, they fell in love, they come here. So this this was part of the, uh, oh, also painting bridges very important to me because I use it for architecture, it should be used for civilizations. We should build bridges rather than cut the bridges, you know. So. And that you're saying is one of the oldest bridges in the city? Yes. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. I and didn't the know that. background is Dakota buildings. And to the right is John Lennon, we still live. Next picture. Now, these are great. These, uh, I started 16 of these. Uh, these are oils. They're 48 inch by 78. They are big paintings. Uh, I, this is a prediction of me of global warming. In 2004, I was in Huntington, and I opened a very large space for arts. Uh, you know, I was successful to get the space from a Chinese uh, landlord, and the space was an open indoor pool, so we turned it into a gallery. And I did a day for peace there, music and all that stuff. And I started painting 16 of those over there for global warming. And this is one of them. This is called the tipping point, where life, the rivers are gashing to one point and going down and it's in a mysterious way and gets cleansed. Very and comes nice, out on the other very side. nice. Next picture. I want to make sure we get through them all. Next. Yeah, these are also part of those. This one is called Fork. This is like, uh, you know, wherever you go on earth, it's heaven. To me, if, if you go up or down, it's heaven. So this is really beautiful, this painting. Next one. This is oil. This is 36 by 98. Wow. This one is a, a, a new thing that I want to make for New York. I love New York. A sort of uh, 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 hard art, you know, with lights and stuff as part of a, a signature piece. That's nice. Next picture. Now, this is also a, a really strong piece. This is, wow. of course, after the Gaza conflict. And here, a, 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 a Palestinian child and a Jewish boy, they're both friends. But they're looking outside, and they see all this chaos and madness of humanity. Mm. And they are wondering, what 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 is they don't know what to do they're just looking out and and outside there you know god is and and, and the david star and and uh, and sort of a really the same culture in a mosaic way because this is so very israeli and arabic and so it's glowing it's a mixture of that interesting but the walls are you know shattering this is a building in um, lower east side by williamsburg bridge is built there and during I, I because I take that bridge every day enter New York City and I used to see, saw this bridge this building step by step go up I took photographs and then I created this modern piece of it so it's a next it's one a very architectural piece oh this is me in 1978 in Kabul Afghanistan so how about said, that huh yes this is this is the the block we lived in that says 44 Wow, yeah, that and that's we, an we Afghan. Lived, yeah, we lived, we lived on, the, on the fourth floor. These are uh, Russian-built uh, housings. It was concrete, solid concrete. And when my mom, this was the dream house for my mom, because before that we were very poor. And my dad was a principal of a high school. Somehow they got on the list to, to be in this neighborhood. This was, I think, the last year I was in Kabul, and then I came to, to wow. Germany. Next picture. This is an old watercolor of me, 1983, I did that. This is during when I just came from the USA and, and I wanted to do some cultural stuff because it was in the back of my it's head. It's beautiful. Absolutely. I mean, I mean it's beautiful, uh, uh, water, water beautiful work. Next one. This one is 53rd Street, West 53rd, right in front of MoMA. I was selling there, I was showing there. So I said, you know what, I'm going to do a location piece. I did this on the location in front of people. People videotape me all the time, constantly. So I have some videos of it, too. Beautiful. Yeah. Ne next one. Oh, this is a sculpture down by uh, Ground Zero. Uh, 
that's a, it's a cubic. Uh, I took a photograph of it, it's somebody else's work. But I create the rendering, the computer renderings, because I do a lot of digital stuff too. And then if I like it, I paint one original or make it a 3D sculpture. Okay, and stuff. next one. Oh, this is great. This is this is one of the uh, alleys of New York that I love the most. It's called, it's a Staples Street in Chabaca. I like and that. And then there's a, yeah. uh, there's a bridge there. I think an artist lives in there. Yeah, this one is right now on Fifth on One Fifth Avenue. Wow, so, I like that one. Peace on Earth. This is another oil painting I did. It's a billboard of peace on the top of a, a mountain. It's Wonderful. The, it's Wonderful. a mixture of both countries, Afghanistan and America, both. Riaz, yes, I got to say, it, it has been wonderful having you on today. Uh, we got to do this again sometime again. So I, I really like this guy. He's, a, he, he's not only a professional pro, he is, uh, he's, he's a good guy. He's a real good guy. Thank you. And thank uh, you. Uh, your goodness want, comes from you. Thank and you. I want to thank you all for watching. We are in all five boroughs. God bless you all. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, New York. We are only a heartbeat away from unmasking the causes of sudden cardiac death. Help us save one young heart at a time. She's